you who are seeing my face for the first time. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm just living life and documenting it. Guess what? <laughs> I just got back from London. And if you guys cannot tell, I am getting over something. I don't know what it is. And before you all ask, no, it's not COVID. It's hot as heck. I'm going to look up a 20 minutes workout video and I will talk to you guys when I next talk to you guys. I did not expect that to be as humbling as it was. I am not going to show my workouts online because one, I am insecure. I'm coming out of heavy body dysmorphia. And to be honest, I'm not gonna be a fitness girly. I do think that there is good conversation that I can have that doesn't require me showing that aspect of me. And shout out to MedFit, you are amazing. You're also very encouraging because you got me through a workout that was very humbling. There is a reason I haven't done at-home workouts by myself. Like I have tried in the past and failed. Where I used to be with fitness and also the standard that I compare myself to because my parents used to be bodybuilders, is astronomical so that's also that aspect did not help me in my insecurities and it's not on them okay it's not on them it's everything that's going on up here it's shocking and it's demotivating on a personal level so to be able to find something like this and to feel good about keeping on keeping on and to have options what i really love about madfit is that throughout this entire workout, even though the workouts would be described as simple, right? There were easier things that she said, if you can't, if you feel like you can't do something, here is what you can do instead. Another thing that I really love about this channel, sorry, I'm gonna like gush a little bit about her, is that it's not a number that you have to hit as far as reps. Cause like, you know, growing up, I had a lot of, you know, I had personal trainers, I had my parents who were bodybuilders, and all of the exercises that I ever did with other people. And this is not like to say that it's wrong, it just wasn't for me because numbers terrified me a long time ago. Well, not even a long time ago, like even a year ago, like numbers terrify me because like I am being set at a standard. And if I can't hit that, then what good am I? That was the mentality that I had. So instead of like, hitting a number as far as like reps are concerned she was going based on time so it was two sets 45 seconds each that's like nothing but it was motivating to keep you moving and short enough so that you didn't overthink it and also you didn't have time to think about numbers and during the rest periods it wasn't just like complete silence. She was telling you, okay, this is how you're going to do this step. This is how you're going to do this step. And she showed you little by little, point by point, step by step. So I just, I really enjoyed her. I think I'm going to keep using this type of working out method. But as of right now, I just realized my mom left me a note <laughs> of some things that she would like me to get done today on top of the other stuff that I wanted to get done today. So because I'm already sweaty and nasty, I'm going to uh, clean the house and kind of clean the sick out of my room and then go from there. But before I do all of that, order my groceries for the week. PSA, it's hot, it's summer, drink water. I don't think people get how amazing water is. Time to get some groceries to chores. Hi guys, let 
me catch you up to speed. Had about an hour long nap, just woke up and we're here. So I am about ready to head out to my DoorDash shift. I'm just getting ready. See you guys tomorrow because there's really nothing more that's gonna happen. So I'll just say good night to you guys and see you tomorrow morning, even though I know I'll probably be able to show you more stuff, but I'll only be able to show, not tell, which you're probably like, oh, thank God, finally, she stopped talking. Yes. <laughs> um, I can show, not just tell. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Can't wait for another day. Bye. Sometimes I wish I wish me back to you I wish me back to the time The time when life was good I wish me back to those moments Moments at the beach We didn't think about sunscreen Now you don't think about me Sometimes I wish me back to you Sometimes I feel I feel I'm not enough Not like I was in those days When life was not as rough Sometimes I wonder how How my life would have turned out. If I stayed with you back then And sometimes I have doubts Sometimes I wish me back to you On the road with Jake Johnson in the car. The future untold. Hi, I'm on my, like, not me searching for my phone, realizing that the only thing I have to film on is my phone. I, I'm, I'm constantly like looking into the viewfinder, not because of like how I'm looking right now, I know I look like a hot mess, but because of the room. And like, listen, I know it's not a, a great, and I know I said I cleaned it yesterday, but I said I cleaned the sickness out of it yesterday and unpacked my stuff. That does not mean that it is clean. To most people, it might mean that. For me. Not necessarily. Welcome to another day. It is now Tuesday. And listen, I have been doing things, okay? I've been a productive little potato today, okay? And here is where I am going to tell you that I'm going to be signing off for the day again because I'm going to do a DoorDash shift. Wee! I am hoping at some point during this situation, and you guys keep me accountable uh, in the comment section if I do or I do not, um, but I really want to start reading Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe, because 
I'm back in my reading phase and I love that for me. Yeah, so this is the first time I'm talking to you guys and also the last time for today probably, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I am amping myself up to try another full body workout. My body freaking hurts. If I'm being fully transparent, if, 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 and I will be, I'm kind of dreading it a little bit because I can feel it all over, but I'm going to still do it because it's healthy for me. It's something that in the long run will be better for me. In order to stay getting better I and feeling better, I just, I want to continue this because it's something that it it is motivating and it is something that I am excited to do. Yes, I'm dreading it, but I'm also excited to do it. Like it's a really interesting, um, what is it, contradiction that is going on, but like I'm excited to do it. I it's It's something that I truly believe can help and it's done in a way that makes me feel safe <laughs> so and okay in my body and that's not something that's easily done <sighs> i'm gonna be doing a lot of stretching tomorrow okay and that's selling and that's selling i'm gonna get on it okay bye all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this 20 minute full body workout without any equipment <sighs> i'm sweating so much once again just like so time to sign off and take a shower and all good people said amen it is now many hours later i am a little bit more dressed up and i am in the parking lot of my church i forgot to mention to you guys because my brain has just been everywhere but this morning i woke up to a notification this is completely random and whatever but anyways i woke up to a freaking notification i watched this reactor he reacts to k-pop and stuff he posted this video this morning I was like I was there I was there and I'm literally exporting all of the videos right now I have proof from the way that the thumbnail is just showing right now it is giving reality they hit harder and different in real life than anything that you can see on a screen and I've been re-watching religiously Hyde Park stuff. I wasn't getting like the head-on version, so I wasn't seeing their interactions. There were some interactions that I saw, others that were not filmed and I have not seen um, being talked about online. I'm just like, why was that like attention drawing to me? And then I realized, oh, cause bias. So anyways, yeah, that is what kind of motivated me to actually start editing some videos this morning. And not that you guys care about that in the slightest, but yeah, that's what happened. We're going to head in to the building. I brought Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe, with me, um, visual aid. And I'm going to start reading this because I have been saying that I've been wanting to start reading this for weeks now, and I have not. And then I got momentarily sidetracked by reading Red, White, and Royal Blue, which was not the next book that I wanted on my roster. But uh, they were showing Red, White, and Royal Blue, the movie, on the plane. And I was like, oh, this is so perfect. I need to finish reading the book so that I can watch the movie and I can compare the two. I did that, and we have a lot of things to talk about. My mind was shook. I mean, that whole trip, I was shook, but I was shook. So, anyways, heading in, about to read, and I will catch you guys up either later, or I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Morning. It's Thursday. We're about ready to head into work at Amazon. I just wanted to update. So last night I said, I think the last thing I said legit was that I was going to be reading Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. And looking back, I think in my summer TBR video, I said that this was a new to me book. Those are the rereads. Now let's talk about the new ones. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. But I think I might have actually read it because this is reading very familiar to me and like I remember this writing and I remember certain aspects. It's not on the back of the book so I must have read this at some point and I just didn't remember. Coming out of high school and into college I had like a two-year reading slump 
essentially I just didn't read for two years and then I had like a summer where I read like probably three four books I must have in that summer had read this book because I am remembering this book and I think I'm remembering the story I think I'm remembering the characters I think I'm remembering everything that happened based on a completely unknown to us character and I would love to tell you guys more about it but honestly I am sitting outside in the parking lot of my workplace and I need to head into work and I will see you guys in a bit bye it is now officially break time a, a new process has been rolled out always day one at Amazon you know so we had to do some training for that that took about an hour and my last remaining brain cell that was like holding on by a little thread and now I am completely like running off of muscle memory and and just the hope and a prayer that nothing else happens today i'm gonna take a quick power nap and i'll talk to you guys after the work day okay bye hi guys it's friday and that means it's payday i woke up a little bit earlier today got my coffee obviously i went to the bank because even though it's payday and it's great, we got money coming in, um, it's going directly out of my bank account and into the hands of those who I need to pay bills for. For a responsible adult over here. How did we get off on that? I don't even know where we started or how we got here. But anyways, I do know I have to shut up because my phone is yelling at me for low storage and I'm pretty sure I have to go in for my, uh, my, um, my shift now. And I will talk to you guys on my break. Okay, bye. Hi, y'all. It's officially break time. Guys, today, I think my workplace is trying to induce stress on any level I can get. It's like, oh, you have a good work environment now. You got, you know, a financial cushion now. So let's give you a different type of stressor or a different type of pain. Y'all, I've been having a headache for the last two days. And I think it started with the new process that we learned yesterday. And now today, tools are like not cooperating. Well, I won't even say tools. The data input into our tools is half done so we're having to do the other half that is technically not under our job description but the issue that we have is that it's like mass it's on a mass scale like it's one particular store but the thing is it's one store over like the entire u.s so and it's one of the bigger budget stores too so i'm just like oh this is fantastic and i am getting all the ones that we need to do the work around and get all the information for so it's great because we're escalating and they're loving the fact that i am just like giving them all of the details and the information and stuff what we are not liking is the headache and the stressors that are coming with it so i'm just gonna shut up now i'm gonna go i'm gonna breathe and get a water okay my favorite water not spend any money mother not spending money um and <laughs> sorry i had to she she watches my videos so i'm like tax accountant mom i promise you i am doing well with my finances nowadays so anyways i'm gonna go and get my water i'm gonna breathe have a little shut eye and then go back to stressing but like in the less extreme of all of the ways that I could probably stress at this particular moment. Okay? Okay. Great. Talk to you guys either after work or tomorrow. We'll see which one comes first. Oh, my phone needs to cool down as well. So that is another indic indicator to shut up. <laughs> I will shut up now. See you guys when I next see you guys. Hi guys! Welcome to the last day of this vlog. It is Saturday. It's also the last week of my work week, my short work week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I just want to preface the day with that. Also, I want to preface this day with something that I have already filmed 
back to that hi guys good morning i literally okay so i just went through starbucks i always go through starbucks in the morning on my work days don't at me i don't care it gets me through the day and it keeps me motivated and in a good mood it's a reason for a good work environment okay um not me trying to justify purchasing a starbucks this is my order okay so i normally get a venti mocha cookie crumble frap and i have recently been asking for flat lids because i like the flat lid versus the round lid i just liked it better and apparently i didn't know this but one of the baristas said one day that you can ask for a flat lid whenever you want um and still get the whipped cream at the top as well as at the bottom i did not ask for it this time look at that flat lid but i presume i have ordered it plenty of times enough for the baristas to know who i am and how i like my order but this is insane like actually i think they know me too well and i come here too often is that going to get me to stop though absolutely not i just found that funny anyways thank you for indulging me in my weirdness <laughs> conclusion i go to starbucks too often but that's okay I found this new little app on my phone called CapCut. Now, I have been using it mostly, actually solely, for my Instagram, well not even, for my TikTok content. Literally, that's all I used it for, my short form content, everything else that has been, you know, wider, larger projects, YouTube related content, I export the footage to my laptop, then have to download it from YouTube itself in my creator studio to my computer and then upload that again and use Clipchip because my phone for some reason does not save the files as something that is able to be like recognizable when I attach the cord to the computer. I don't know the techie stuff behind that, but let's just say it doesn't save us the accurate file to be able to be exported directly to my computer, thereby being able to just like move it from my phone to my computer and then work on my app Clipchamp the way that I want to. So I have just recently discovered the beauty of editing on my phone. Now listen, I have somewhat chunky hands, okay? I mean, maybe not. I don't know. But like, this is the size of my hands, okay? I have fat thumbs, all right? Um, it also doesn't help that I now have... <laughs> having nails also doesn't help the situation, but they're kind of cute. When it comes to editing, I like having a computer, being able to use the mouse. It feels more accessible, more easy, more smooth in the editing process, less choppy. So I've been using that for my TikToks recently. Um, am I recently? I mean a couple months now. I've been liking the style, the editing. I, I love that it's like, it's lifted up the content a little bit more without too much in the way of like effort or money having to be thrown at it, which I enjoy because I don't have a lot of time to give to all of these different platforms if I want to continue on with this whole content creation thing, which I do. So. Being that it saves me time, it saves me effort, but it looks good and I do put time and effort into it, I was like, huh, I really, really like this. And for some reason, I could not tell you why or how, yesterday, I decided I was going to try just a little bit of a montage footage clip that I wanted to put words on. I, I was just going to try it on my phone, see if I liked it. You guys, I pretty much edited an entire day of this vlog on my phone yesterday. I mean, I didn't complete the whole editing because, you know, work and break and I can only have my phone for a certain amount of time during my break, but it really helped me to see like, oh, I can actually do this editing thing without needing to lug around a gigantic computer. It, it was so easy, so quick, and I was really enjoying it. So all of that to say, cap cut. Uh, it's a great free resource. So if you're a content creator or thinking about being a content creator, use that. There are some great, amazing like fonts and styles and effects and transitions and stuff like that completely free for you to use. You don't have to spend any money. This sounds like a sponsorship. If you want to sponsor me, you totally can. Um, I don't know how that stuff works. That's a whole other thing. But uh, I'd be interested to learn with you guys. I'm just kidding. I mean, Somewhat kidding, but also mostly kidding because 
I mean, who am I, right? I'm just, I'm just a little guppy in a in a shark uh, infested ocean, just trying to make my way in the world, enjoying all the sights, sounds, th- and new discoveries of this world, and uh, just letting other people do their thing. And you know, I'll just be here, uh, just happily, just like living life, and just keep on keeping swimming. You know, uh, like Dory says, just keep on swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim, swim. Anyways, I need to go inside now and start my shift. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to clock in and I'm going to be a good, responsible little adult. And I do mean little, I'm five foot. I'm going to be a good, responsible adult for the next however many hours. And awesome. Let's go in.